December. No. <laughs> Hi there. Al, Al the Doctor Who. Um, this is the 1st of September. And um, I want to wish everybody happy. Uh, have, have, a, have a great Labor Day. You know, this is a, the wrap up of the summer. And it, it does go by quick. I always say after the 4th of July, it just flies. You know, it, it just seems like really, literally, you know, it, it might feel like a couple of weeks, but but to me, it's like days. Only a few days. So we got back from uh, Atlantic City and um, we did we, we didn't do that. We didn't do bad. OK, um, by gambling st- standards um most gamblers will play everything they have and 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 hope to hit something really big uh but we don't we don't operate that way so um my in my mind if you come back with what you went there with i consider yourself to be lucky all right i I think that's probably the right way to to think uh we've seen um now we were supposed to see um, uh, ZZ Top, but they canceled. Okay, so and then Jeff Beck uh, also played, but we didn't get a chance to do that because um, I think we were like, you know, well, it was my fault. It was my fault. Um, but we did get to see the first night Journey, and Journey. I, I want to tell you something about Journey. Uh, my my friend was the lead singer in that group. His name is uh, Steve Aguilera, I think his name was. Um, anyway, he's from our neighborhood in Brooklyn. And he lived on um, seven, no, fifth, no, 70, 70, let's see, had to be 79. Stephanie lived on 68. So uh, I would say 60, 67th Street, I think he lived on. And uh, they used to follow our, our group uh, in the neighborhood. They used to follow. My, the name of my group was The Rue. And um, they were into Kiss, very big into Kiss. And, uh, well, there's a couple of people that that uh, stay in close contact. I have a friend. He's just back. He's just in from California now. He transplanted himself from uh, from Brooklyn to California thinking... Well, I'm not going to get into that. Any anyway, um, it it was interesting when I when I seen the the group playing uh, Journey and um, I, I I I think I think the the group itself is really I was impressed. I was I I didn't think I didn't think I had in my own mind. I I don't think I thought of them as being as good as they were, but they they were very very good. Um, the lead singer, I don't know. I mean, uh, obviously he did his best, but uh, there's there's no question in my mind that 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 he's definitely not the caliber of the rest of the group. You know, there's. You know, I don't. I don't want to. I don't really want to take anything away from anybody, but um, it, 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 he wasn't polished. You know, if if, if you look at it like this, um, if you're going to jump around the place and throw the microphone around, make sure you do a good job of it, or don't do it at all. I'm a very strong um, advocate of don't mug the audience until you can play well enough to do it you know so i don't like when i see people uh mugging the i call it mugging the audience when they haven't reached that level of perfection you know so it's not a good idea to to be jumping around the place uh and acting like you're doing something stupendous when when in fact your playing is way way underneath you know so i think you should reach that level first (laughs) <laughs> and then go up, you know. But uh, this is the way. Uh, this is the way the industry is, you know. And uh, anyway, I, you know, we we had a good time. Uh, we the first night, like I said, we saw Journey. That was Friday night, I think. Yeah, Friday night. 
And then, of course, we missed um, ZZ Top because they canceled. And I think I would have liked to have seen Jeff Beck because Jeff Beck is, is really a, an outrageous guitar player. I mean, I mean, you got to understand his the way that his concept of expression is quite different than most guitar players. So, I mean, when you when you hear Jeff Beck, you know it's Jeff Beck. You know what I'm saying? I mean. You could pretty much identify any any person because they all have their own, uh, you know, identifiable expression. But uh, Jeff Beck is definitely unique, and I kind of said in a way I didn't see him. I know his daughter plays bass in the group, and she is phenomenal. Um, what else is there? I really shouldn't say too much. Um. Uh, oh, the last night, that was uh, last night, um, we saw Aerosmith and uh, Slash opened up for, for, um, for Aerosmith. And I'm going to tell you something. I think that Slash's group p performed, did a better performance than Aerosmith. See, the other thing with Aerosmith, this is the thing that bothers me. Um, when I see uh, Steve Tyler running out and and, uh, and and Joe Perry, it's just them. The rest of the band is like, you know, they're just not there, you know. And, and I, I kind of feel bad about that, you know. But that's just my take, you know. And then we had this kid that was standing up in front of us. Uh, he was just, just outright rude. You know, I don't think that you should stand up in front of people when you have seats. <laughs> you know, you should enjoy the concert. And if you want to stand up at one point or another, you know, everybody else is standing. That's great. But, you know, I think in 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 general, it's just not nice to, to stand up in front of somebody that's sitting down behind you. You know, I can understand that, you know, if you if you want to stand up for a second, uh, you know, take a picture or wave your hand or whatever. But to stand up throughout the entire uh, concert is just outright rude. And um, I have a feeling that, you know, he's, karma is a bitch, you know. It does come back. And uh, <laughs> I had a lot of thoughts, but, you know, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, anywho, let's see what else went on oh oh i want to say uh happy birthday to vital fine uh and and scott scott murray uh, it's good to see you uh hope you had a great time I, it, it certainly sounds like you did and uh you know i wanted to mention something about beer making um i would have i have i you know i have no idea i don't know what i would do if i got into that you know uh but I, I guess I guess if you start to become a, a meister, what do they call it, a brewmeister? <laughs> uh, I guess you, it, you know that is kind of that's really a good art because uh, you know you're actually you know they got these mini breweries over here in in, uh, in Manhattan. Now they got them all over the place. Um, there's they're, they're, they're not many they're called micro breweries i mean i know everybody is everybody knows about it but um yeah and 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 they just and they make their own their own thing you know which is cool i'm making spaghetti right now stephanie is sleeping she a little tuckered out um like i said we did all right we did we didn't do bad we didn't do bad you know uh, I'm happy as long as, as long as uh, we break even. I, I, I'm not going to complain. You know, most most people do not because uh, they go after the obsession, and that that's not a good thing. Anywho, this is going on. It's gonna. It's over nine and a half minutes. I just don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I sound. Um. I'm going to post it, but one thing I have taken a big notice with, uh, especially on YouTube, um, nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Anywho, I love you guys. going to post this just the way it is. It's 10 now. Um, 
and, 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 I, and I don't, I believe me when I tell you, I look at just about everybody's video. You know, I might not make a comment. On it. Um, these days, I got a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on, um, but it's just about coming down to the to the end. I'm I'm down to um, I'm 180, 182, which is low for me because I'm usually 196 pounds. So 182 is low for me, but I have no choice because the doctor told me not to do anything strenuous with the shoulders. So, and that's what I'm doing. Anywho, again, <laughs> I love you guys. You take care. Bye-bye.